Hello everybody, welcome. Today I have a makes video for you. Everything that I sewed in the last two months. Now there were a lot of masks that I sewed during the time period. I'm not gonna share that with you, but I did get some garments sewing. I'll share that with you. And be sure to stick around to the end because I'm also gonna share with you what my friend Lori made from the fabric that we purchased at our trip to Fabrictopia in San Antonio. Did a video about that fabric haul a little bit earlier. I'll link that above and below in the comments. I'm Sharon with Sharon Sews, and again, welcome. I am so happy that you're here. What I'll do is I'll share with you what I sewed. I'll start with all the bottoms that I sewed, the pants and the skirts. I'll show you the garment that I made, the pattern that I used, and a just real brief little description of what the pattern was and what I liked about it and what maybe I didn't like. Most of my sewing time through March and April was made doing masks. I did maybe 200. I know compared to the rest of you, that's not very much, but I got really burnt out on it. But I'm also really grateful that I had the skill to be able to make masks when they weren't available and people were looking for them. I had a number of friends that I sewed these for, and then I also did a lot of donations. Our local church, the church that I go to was donating to the local healthcare industry and then also the nonprofit that I volunteer at, I actually volunteer in their sewing studio, was making masks to donate to the healthcare industry. Another small item that I've been sewing is headbands. I mentioned in a previous video that I cannot wait to get a haircut and I'm super excited because I have an appointment July 8th or 7th, one of those dates, pretty soon. It's coming up really soon. So I've been sewing headbands because it just helps keep the hair out of my face. I have a tutorial for this super easy headband. You can whip it up with a scrap piece of knit fabric knit fabric scraps or a t-shirt or old swimming suit, old leggings, anything like that in five minutes every time. Super, super fast. I'll link to that tutorial. And then I've been experimenting. I really like these ones with the little, the little um, knots at the top. So I will have a tutorial for that too. This one's a little bit wider. I think I'm going to make it narrower, but I've been using knit fabrics for that also. I just am loving the headbands right now. The first item I'm going to share with you is a pair of pants that I sewed from the August 2019 Burda Style Magazine. It is pants number 107. I actually had these in a planning video, a previous planning video, and they are my floral print pants. The fabric, I think I'd mentioned in the planning video that I thought might actually be a home deck fabric and I don't care. I think they are fabulous in these pants. I sewed them about a month ago. I have worn them so often and it must be cotton because they're very comfortable to wear. So what I love about these, first of all, I'm gonna brag on myself for a little bit because I don't always do a very good job on this, but I did a great job matching this pattern here at the pockets. Did you notice there were pockets? I'm just so proud of myself. Honestly, you know, I've been sewing a long time, but I'm not always the best sewer out there. So I like it when I do things like that. I'll show you how I did it. Simply when I'm trying to match up a pattern on a pocket or, um, yeah, mostly patch pockets, pockets. I just take the pattern piece that I put it on my fabric and I trace, trace around it. So what I do is I take the pattern piece that has already been cut out, in this case the front of the pant, and I lay it on the fabric matching up the floral design. I then take the pocket piece, place it where I want the design to match up, and then I outline that floral design. I then remove the pattern piece for the pants and cut out the pocket, resulting in a really nice match. And of course, I'm always happy when I hear that other people do that also. Just kind of validates me. Anyway, um, what else can I tell you about the pants? There's a button in the pattern. I eliminated that. I put a hook and eye instead because I wanted to keep that flat look. And the, the, um, the hem is the part that I love the best. Inside, there is a very deep, let me flip them inside out for you. So there's pleats, three pleats in the front, two pleats in the back that's creating that fullness at the hemline. And then it's held in place with this thick facing. And then you just simply tack it. It's tacked at the side seams and on those little pleats. Again, I love these pants. These pants are my call to 8098, and this was in a previous planning video. Also, I purchased the fabric from Super Textiles on an Etsy shop. How, 
How fun are these? Oh my goodness, these are so fun to wear. So I, who would think, you know, elastic waist pants and the fullness is created. Do you see? It's gathered and it's gathered. So what it is, a um, little hard to tell with the fabric because it's pretty busy fabric, which is, I think, what makes it super fun. It's actually an elastic waist pants and there is seam right here right here in the front and in the back. And then on that side section, you're adding tiers that are gathered, creating that fullness. So the bottom, see how wide that is? I'll show you a video, fabulous, love them. You know, I don't really have much to say about this one. It's really just an elastic waist pants, super easy to sew, great fun for the summer. Did a pretty good job matching those little stripes in the front. Didn't do such a good job in the back. Oh well. Another favorite pair of pant for the summer. I also sewed three little skirts during this time period. I am not going to go into a lot of detail on these because I did a full video on them. These are the three itch to stitch Valboa skirts that I just made. Super simple knit skirts. This is one of the A-line that I sewed. This is the, let's see, this is the double flounce that I sewed. And this is another, upside down here, this is another A-line version that I sewed. I love these skirts. You're going to see more in upcoming makes videos. This pair of pants, I'm not going to go into too much detail on these because I did a complete video on these. This is Bow 1611, super wide leg, I believe if I remember correctly, 54 inches wide at the hem. A blast to wear. I'm just loving the wide leg trend. It's got pleats in the front. And on that video, I talk about how I removed the pleats in the back and I added darts instead. The fabric is from Fabric Mart Fabrics. It's a linen rayon blend. Moving on to the tops and the dresses that I sewed. This first one is the Friday Company Adrian Blouse. This was just to test the fit. I was curious if it was going to cover my bra strap and I was also curious if I was going to have enough room in the bust line. I'll pop up a picture you can see for yourself. I absolutely need to do more work on making this one fit for me, but it's a very simple sew and if you don't need to do a lot of pattern adjustments to fit your body, I would recommend it. I think I may have mentioned in a previous video that it's getting very hot and humid here and I didn't have a lot of t-shirts. So I whipped up three little t-shirts from the sewing workshop Eureka Top pattern. Okay, this runs so big. I did not take that into consideration. I just blindly cut out my size. So keep that in mind if you sew this. It's, it's a little sloppy looking but so comfortable. I want to be comfortable, but I still want to look put together. I sewed three of them. The first one that I sewed is this diagonal knit print. I believe it's a cotton blend. I'm not sure where I purchased the fabric. I don't remember for sure. I actually did it exactly as the pattern described. It's got these little fold over cuffs at the bottom. Super cute. I pull this one out fairly often. It's a very comfortable top to wear. Uh, the second one I sewed is this purple version. Now the front is a panel print. It's a rayon knit from Emma One Sock and I did not have enough to do the entire top. So the back is a remnant that I just had left over from a project I did for my daughter. It's just a purple. This is also a rayon knit. The last one I did was this turquoise blue one. Love it. Way too oversized. I think I'm going to take it on a little bit. This is also a rayon knit. This is from Emma One Sock. I did not have enough fabric to add the cuff on, but that's okay. But before I show you my next top, I'm going to just put it right out there. Yes, I know one of my goals is to not sew black this year, but I sewed a black top. Here it is, right here. I just, I, I just wanted a tie front black top and I didn't have one in my wardrobe. This is Simplicity 8601, one of my favorite top patterns. 
actually, I guess, is it a favorite if I've only sewn it three times? It's getting there. It's designed for wovens. I have not sewn it from a woven yet. I've sewn it from knits every single time. And in fact, they're all ITY knits. I, I used to border print on this one and I just wanted to give that V illusion in the front with the black and the back is a solid floral. I wear that quite often. I made another one in ITY knit out of this bright blue that's from Fabric Mart Fabrics. And then this is black is also an ITY knit from Fabric Mart Fabrics. I did do the sleeves differently this time instead of the little ruffles on the sleeve. I made this one longer and that allowed the ties to be a little bit longer. This one, I made it just as the pattern instructed. And what I discovered is that the ties come right here at my waist. And if I have a low waist pant on, then I've got that little bit of skin showing. And personally, I am not comfortable with that look. So I just don't like it. So I lengthened it, black, getting a lot of wear. I know I said no black, but sometimes you just need a nice basic black top. I sewed one jacket during this time period. It's Simplicity 9047. I'm not gonna go into a lot of detail because I did a whole video on this one. This is the one that I did in collaboration with T of Crumpets Tea and Sewing. I will link that video above and put it in the comments below. This is denim and you can learn more about it in that video if you're interested. The last one I'm going to share with you that I sewed was from fabric that I purchased at Fabriktopia in San Antonio with my girlfriend Lori. We did a video on our fabric haul and I'm going to share the one thing that I have done so far and then I'm going to show you what Lori has made with her, what Lori has done with her fabrics. Apparently she's a faster sewer than I am, but I'm still working on mine. We'll get there. In that fabric haul video, if you saw it, you may remember that I found some rayon chalet in a rainbow stripe that I loved. And I had pictured a maxi dress as soon as I saw it. Now I chose 7743 McCall's. I love the fabric and I love that it's a maxi dress and I really wish I would have chosen a different pattern. I'm not thrilled with the pattern. I'm not thrilled with the fit. I think it's okay. I think it's growing on me. Now what I don't like is look at how deep, look at how deep this is. So your bra will show on the side. Um, instructions have you, the instructions do not have this little tie for the version I did. It actually has you hook here and hook inside and that didn't work. So what I did, I've got twill tape in here. I just had a package of twill tape. So I did twill tape. I sewed it to the side seam and to the uh, edge of the, and to the front edge here to keep that in place inside. And then I added a tie here to keep it in place. I originally had a tie belt to go with it. Um, I think the other thing that I don't like, it's quite blousey on top. Love that look. It's a little more fitted through the waist and the hip than I anticipated. And because of that, it's a little challenging to keep the wrap from flipping open. Hello, Sharon. This is Lori, your sewing enthusiast, your good friend. Um, I'm just showing you my top that I made out of the fabric that I was going to make a dress out of. And now I don't know if I have enough fabric. And I also have my jeans on that I made um, last week. So anyway, here we are. Now I have on my t-shirt that should have been out of, should have made a bathing suit out of this fabric. It has a 50% stretch both ways, so it's very stretchy and forgiving. I used a um, kind of a sequined thing up in the shoulders. And um, anyway, hello Sharon, it's Lori again. 
Now I'm ready to show you my the top I made out of McCall's 8025 out of the kind of animal print that we bought together. So anyway, I like this top. And I still have on the jeans that I sewed. Thank you for being here and letting me share with you what I sewed in April and May and what Lori sewed from our fabric haul from Fabriktopia. Until next time, I hope you have a blessed day and happy sewing. Um, and be sure to hang on and watch the bloopers and quite a few filming this video. I just got caught on my legs. Okay, okay, let's start over. Okay, pooper. Oh goodness, I feel like a bug just went in my mouth. Okay, sorry about that. Floral, I like the V front in the front. And I like V front in the front would mean it's in the front. I, the first item I'm going to share with you is a pair of pants from the August 2019 Berta Style issue. Make Berta Style. Okay, how now about what I was gonna say? Isn't it fat? Start over. You win some, you lose one. The front panel. The last one that I have to share with you that I sewed was from the fabric that I purchased at the fat. So I used Simplicity 7743 